Hi friends, welcome to Jerval Academy. You are watching my YouTube channel Jerval Gravity. Today we will discuss about the first chapter of the physics. As in the last lecture, we had already discussed about the syllabus which was given by the state board, and that board, uh, that syllabus consists of total 16 chapter. Out of that chapter, the first chapter is rotational dynamics. So today we will uh, start from this chapter that is rotational dynamic and the topics which are included in this chapter. In this video, we will discuss about uh, some basic knowledge about the rotational dynamics and the topics which we, we, which we will study in the next videos. So today, what is meant by rotational dynamics? Actually, rotational dynamics is the word which is related to the concept of physics. As we know that there are various branches of the physics, out of that, the rotational motion, that is rotational dynamic, is one of the most important topic in the physics. So, uh, in this chapter, generally, we will study the two main motions, that is circular motion and rotational motion. These are the two very important motion in the last syllabus, in the previous syllabus. These two chapters are separate, that is circular motion and rotational motion. But uh, in the new syllabus, this, uh, this chapter rotational dynamic content, both the <coughs> two chapter concepts of the two chapter that is circular motion and rotational motion. In this chapter, we will go in the detail about the circular motion as well as the rotational motion. First, we will see some introductory points related to the circular motion or the topics or the um, quantities which are very important when we study the circular motion. As we know that when we explain the uh, one kind of motion, then that in that motion we have to know the parameters of that motion. For example, in the universe there are various kind of motions, rotational motion, circular motion, oscillatory motion, vibratory motion, then simple harmonic motions, uh, etc, etc. There are various kind of motion present in the universe, in the nature, in the study of the physics. But when we study the special kind of motion, then we have to know the special uh, ingredients, special uh, quantities to explain that type of motion. So, uh, first of all, uh, to study the circular motion, we have to know the difference between these two motion, that is linear motion and second one is the angular motion. Angular motion means circular motion. Circular motion. So, what is the difference between linear and angular motion? First of all, what is mean by linear motion? When, when any object moves, displaces from one point to another point in a straight line direction. For example, the point, uh, the body A moves from the point P to Q. Then, when body displaces in the straight line direction, when body displaces in the straight line direction, then that type of motion is called as linear motion. But, but when body moves in the circular motion, then that type of uh, motion is called as angular motion. As we know that, what is motion? When body displaces from one point to another point, then it is called as simply motion. But generally, when we study the circular motion, we have to know the two type of motion, that is linear motion and angular motion. So simply linear motion and angular motion means circular motion. What is linear motion? When body displaces from one point to another point in a straight line direction, then it is called as linear motion. But when body displaces in the circular path along the circumference of the circle, then that type of motion is called as angular motion or circular motion. As we know that when we study motion, then we have to know about this uh, concept that is displacement or distance, then velocity and acceleration. So what about the displacement in linear motion and angular motion? The displacement in linear motion is called as linear displacement linear displacement and it is simply denoted by S. But when we study in the angular motion, 
then this displacement is called as angular displacement and this angular displacement is denoted by theta then velocity this velocity in linear motion is said to be linear velocity and it is simply denoted by v but when we study velocity in the angular motion then it is called as angular velocity and that angular velocity is denoted by omega when we study about the acceleration the acceleration in linear motion is generally called as linear acceleration but and, and denoted by a but the acceleration in angular motion is called as angular acceleration and this acceleration is denoted by alpha as we know that the simple definition of displacement what is the displacement when body uh, the shortest path between the initial and final point is called as displacement what is velocity the rate of change of displacement with respect to time is called as velocity what is acceleration the rate of change of velocity with respect to time is called as acceleration but what is linear displacement linear displacement has the same definition as that of the displacement but here put the word that is linear so what is linear displacement when body displaces in a straight line manner from one point to another point then that distance traveled by body is called as linear displacement or the shortest path between straight line path between the initial and final point is called as linear displacement but what is angular displacement suppose in this case when body moves from point p to q then this this is the initial point this is the final point and body moves from p to q this displacement of the body is measured with the help of angle and that angle is called as angular displacement here the displacement is measured in meter centimeter kilometer etc but here the displacement is measured in term of angle and the unit of angular displacement is radian so all the concepts are changes when now uh, we study the comparison between linear and angular motion so now we will go through some formally first of all what is linear velocity what is linear velocity it is simply linear displacement upon time that is linear displacement s upon t so what is linear velocity the rate of change of linear displacement with respect to time is called as linear velocity what is angular velocity angular velocity is denoted by omega and it is angular displacement upon time so it is equal to theta upon t theta means angular displacement so what is the definition of angular displacement the rate of change of angular displacement with respect to time is called as angular velocity this is angular uh, this is linear velocity this is angular velocity but both have same definition but due to the concept between the linear and angular motion the unit of the velocity changes here the linear displacement is measured in meter and time is measured measured in second so si unit of the linear velocity is meter per second but here the si unit of angular motion angle uh, angular velocity is here theta means angular displacement which is measured in radian upon time is measured in second so the unit is rad per second the concept is same but due to the difference in motion the, the, the units of the quantity is are changes here this is linear velocity and this is angular velocity it is same uh, about the angular angular acceleration and linear acceleration also here generally the linear acceleration is denoted by a and it is what linear velocity upon time linear velocity is denoted by v and time is denoted by t so the rate of change of linear velocity with respect to time is called as linear acceleration here it is denoted by alpha and it is angular angular velocity upon time so it is alpha and it is omega upon t here the rate of change of linear velocity with respect to time
time is called as linear acceleration but here the rate of change of angular velocity with respect to time is called as angular acceleration here the unit of velocity is meter per second upon time second 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 square so meter per second square the unit of linear acceleration is meter per second square but the unit of angular acceleration is omega is measured in rad per second upon second so it is rad per second square and the unit of angular acceleration is rad per second square so to study the angular linear motion and angular motion in detail and to know the basic knowledge about these all quantities uh, make the easy way to study the rotational motion rotational motion rotational dynamic generally consists of the combination of two motion that is circular motion and rotational motion but when we study these both motions at that time we have to know about the angular motion angular motions quantity that is the uh, angular displacement angular velocity angular acceleration etc etc but when we compare this linear motion with angular motion so uh, we have we had clear some the uh, main topic and the main concept about this chapter so uh, study this chapter uh, this topics in detail as well as see this video uh, two or three time then you will get the knowledge about this topic so the next topic is the circular motion what is exactly mean by circular motion what is circular motion what is circular motion when suppose this is the circumference of the circle and when body moves from uh, along the circumference of the circle then this type of motion of the body is called as circular motion so what is circular motion the motion of a body along the circumference of the circle the motion of a body along the circumference of the circle is called as circular motion there are various quantity we have to know about the circular motion here theta is the angular displacement r is the radius vector this is some uh, this is circumference and uh, the other quantity we have to know the force required to form the circular motion is c as a centripetal force as well as centrifugal force what is centripetal and what is centrifugal force we, uh, we will go in the detail in the next video similarly what is mean by shortly rotational motion what is the rotational motion we can make the various definitions for the rotational motion but the simple uh, motion uh, definition of the rotational motion is that the motion of a body along itself for example suppose this is pen and this is moving like this about itself or like this about itself the motion of a body about itself is called as a rotational motion in this video we have already discussed about the some basic knowledge and definition of circular and rotational motion but in the next video we will go in the detail about each and every topic about the uh, circular motion and rotational